In this video, we will learn to install TensorFlow and Keras in a Mac laptop, which are machine learning tools. So we'll start by opening terminal, terminal and activating our Conda environment, which is Conda Activate and the name of the environment you've created. And then check Python versions and pip versions. Pip is basically a tool that installs Python packages and it is a secure way to do and install anything that is associated with Python. And pip is an acronym for pip install packages. So you can relate it with the command that we use every time when we want to install any package, any Python package. So we've checked our pip version which is the latest one which is the pip24 and now there's another command that is pip list which lists all the packages that are installed with pip and are python based so here we can see that uh, we have numpy we have notebook we have other packages by spark uh, and you know different python based packages but what we don't have is uh, is any machine learning packages or any libraries that are used to run machine learning codes or deep learning codes which are pytorch tensorflow keras etc so we will install those with pip so using the same command pip install tensorflow which is the name of your package and we'll wait once it is fully installed and once all the dependencies are installed with it so we can see that numpy is already there so that package is already installed with pip before So this automatically updates if we have like any older versions of, of the packages. Now we will install Keras, which is built on top of TensorFlow. And you can see that it says that requirement already satisfied because it was installed when we did pip install TensorFlow. And yes, pandas is one of the most important packages that we need because you know it is used to load data sets so now we'll type python and on the console we'll see if we are able to import keras we're able to import tensorflow and pandas to work on on it further and yes we've successfully installed keras pandas and numpy so let's close the console and start the coding Stay tuned for the next video where we will train our first neural network project together. And if this video helped you in any way or form, please like, share and subscribe.